In fields such as art, design, and advertising, images play an important role in conveying aesthetics, conveying messages, and influencing perceptions. They serve as powerful tools for storytelling, social media posts, use on websites, YouTube covers, and many other works. Image Upscaler allows us to transform low-resolution images into stunning high-definition masterpieces, and add details to images with just a few clicks. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Leonardo Universal Upscaler and Crea AI Enhancement, then compare them to see which one is best for your needs. Stay with us until the end. Universal Upscaler enables you to enhance the quality and resolution of your desired image, whether it's in the app and created with Leonardo AI, or from your device. Sign in to Leonardo AI. On the main page, click on Universal Upscaler from here or here. Universal Upscaler includes customizable settings. Click on Add Image. Select an image from your device, or select one of the recent images, or select one from the app, then click Confirm. You can select any image, not just images generated by AI. I use this image from my device. It supports JPEG, PNG, and WebP formats. Select Upscaler Style from the list. With a higher creativity strength value, you will see more creativity and changes, and with a lower value, the result will be closer to the source image. I suggest you test with different values to better understand and see the changes. Upscale multiplier determines the final size of the image. A higher value results in a larger and more detailed output. As you drag the slider, you'll see the dimensions change. On the free plan, multiplier is limited to 5 megapixel upscales. So if you are using the free plan, drag the slider to change this number to 5 megapixels or less, to be able to use this upscaler. It's optional to add prompt. If you want to change your image in some way, or if you want to guide the upscaler, you can add prompt. It is recommended to leave this empty. In the upscale button, you can see how many tokens will be used for this upscale. Click the button and wait. When you get the result, you can see three viewing modes. You can drag the slider across it to compare the image changes before and after the upscaling process. Dragging to the left shows the result, and dragging to the right shows the source image. You can also switch to a side-by-side -side view or just the upscale result itself. You can zoom and pan by clicking and dragging to see the result in more detail. See the detail and quality added to the image. By changing creativity strength and style, you can get different results. In Upscale's dedicated feed, you can see all your results in one place. With Select Images button, you can select your desired images and delete them. With the Add Image button, the Select Image input window will open and you can add another image and upscale it. Also, you can clear the source image from here and add another image. You can select your result, then click Upscale Details and see the settings that you used for this result. You can delete and download the result from here. The output is in JPEG format. Also, you can create motion videos with this result. If you had upscaled an image from your device, it will be saved to your personal feed. If you used an image generated on Leonardo, you may view it by clicking on the original image and selecting Universal Upscaler in the Image Details pop-up. If you are not familiar with Crea AI, watch my video to learn more about this amazing AI tool. I will show you how to use the new version of this enhancement tool, which is much better and faster than the previous version. First of all, sign in. To use Upscaler, click on Upscale and Enhance section. In this part, you can see the history of your previous upscales. You can click on each one and see the setting you used for it. Click or drag and drop the image here, or here, to start using this tool. 
You can see the uploaded image here. If you want to use 4K upscaling, you need to upgrade to the Pro version. Turn on the setting to see more options. When you upload the image, the prompt will be added based on your image. You can change and edit the prompt. Select the desired style from this list. You can test different styles to see how each one affects your image. AI Strength shows how much AI can change the image. Higher value more changes. Resemblance Strength shows the amount of similarity between the source image and the result. Higher value makes the result more similar to the input. Clarity makes the image more clear, but sometimes higher value does not have a good effect on the image. You can change the resolution of the result from here. Color correction can be useful in some images. Add negative prompt based on your need. I keep it empty and if I see the problem with the result, I add negative prompt for it. Press the enhance button. Change viewing modes from here. Only the upscale result itself, the source and the result by a slider that can move between them and side-by-side -side view. Use the scroll wheel and zoom to see the result in more detail. See the hair, eyes, and overall changes that make the image more lovely. You can use your image and upscale it. Dragging to the left shows the result, and dragging to the right shows the source image. You can download the result from here. If you want to delete the result, move the mouse to the right corner of the image to see the delete icon. Press the icon, then press confirm. Leonardo gives you 150 free tokens daily per account. If you need more tokens, you can see the prices and descriptions of the different plans. Based on your usage you can upgrade your account. Crea AI also has a free daily plan. If you need more time to use this tool, check out the different plans. Leonardo suggests not using the prompt unless you want to make changes. You have four styles that are good for different uses. Currently, each generation requires 30 tokens, but that may change in the future. Crea adds prompt for each image and you can change or edit it. You have six styles that can produce great results if you choose the right settings with them. So, you can test and decide which one to use for your work. I suggest you use both tools and decide based on your experience. If you try these tools, let me know which one you prefer in the comments. Stay tuned for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.